Open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Now a lot of you guys have asked me about the overhead shots that you see in my videos. People ask me questions like how to take those shots, how to set up the frame, which backgrounds do you use, how much do they cost, etc, etc. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you all those things and I'm going to tell you a step by step procedure that I follow in order to take those overhead shots and maybe that will help you out to take overhead shots for your own videos. Now I'm no expert over here, I'm just a person who's learned some things here and there and I'm going to share them with you. So hopefully after watching this video, you will have a better idea about overhead shots, how to light them, how to shoot them, how to frame them, etc, etc. So when it comes to taking overhead shots, there are three main steps or parts. Number one is camera placement, number two is lighting and number three is setting up the frame. Let's start with the camera placement. While setting up an overhead shot, it is very important that the camera is at an angle of 90 degrees from the surface. The surface can be anything, a table, a desk, a kitchen top or whatever it is that you're trying to shoot on. So the camera should be at an angle of 90 degrees from your surface and that is very important otherwise the shot does not look that good. Like if it is at a weird angle, the shot will not look good and that's why make sure to place it at a 90 degree angle. Now over the years, I've seen and learned that each and every person has their own solution for an overhead rig. Like there's no one particular universal solution that everyone can follow for an overhead rig. People set up their own overhead rigs according to their convenience and the tools that they have at their disposal. So you can set up your own overhead rig according to you and what you want and what you have available. If you only have a tripod and want to shoot overhead shots, then don't worry, I've got you covered. I've made a video about how to take overhead shots with just a tripod and I'll make sure to drop a link to it in the i button over here and also in the description box below. Now when it comes to me, I've started using a boom stand recently for my overhead shots. A boom stand is very convenient because it can be rotated at various angles and setting it up for an overhead shot is very easy and very convenient. The boom stand that I use is very cheap as well. It comes for around 4000 rupees. So if you want to buy that, I'll drop a link to it in the description box below. The second part is lighting. Lighting is one of the most important steps while taking an overhead shot and a lot of times people get confused over here. People think that there should be multiple light sources to make the shot look better. But I disagree on that part. You should have only one light source and that too in the front of the table or the surface that you're using. If the light source is on the top of the table or the surface that you're using, then there will be a lot of reflections. Like if you're shooting a smartphone, then the smartphone display will reflect that light. So you need to make sure that there's only one light source and that too in front of the table. And that's what I do. I have a single LED panel which is in front of my table and that's all. It is slightly at an angle to cover the whole table, but not much. Like it's just a slight angle. Now, if you try to use multiple light sources, then each of those light source will cast a shadow on your subject. And that is very bad. So you need to make sure that there's only one light source, only one shadow and no reflections. And once you achieve that, you are good to go and your shot will be perfect. The third part is setting up the frame. Now, when you set up the frame, the first thing that you need to do is select the background. Now, I use a lot of backgrounds, a lot of colorful backgrounds, and you guys have asked me about them repeatedly. So I'm going to say just go to any offline stationery store and buy a colored paper, a colored chart paper, a colored cardboard, whatever it is that you find interesting, just buy it and use it as your background. It doesn't matter what your background is as long as it's looking good because people are not going to see behind the scenes of your show like if it fits the frame perfectly just go ahead and use it as your background once the background is set you need to add elements to your frame now this is a very important step adding elements to your frame so if you just put the subject in the center and nothing else in the frame it will look very plain and boring that's why you need to add extra elements to complete your frame and set the vibe like I always use a plant. A plant looks very natural in your frame and that adds to the vibe of the frame. And apart from that, I also use some notebooks, some 
speakers, headphones, or anything that it is that you find interesting and can be used in the frame. So setting up the vibe of the frame is very important while taking a flat lay shot. And if the vibe of the frame matches the subject, then your shot will be perfect and people will love it. So make sure that you have some extra elements, some notebooks, some papers, or some headphones, some speakers, even your laptop would do, or a mouse or a keyboard, anything would do. And just make sure to match the vibe of the frame. Once that is done, you will have the perfect shot. So hopefully these steps will help you take better overhead shots. And I would love if you take some overhead shots after watching this video and post them to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever and tag me because I would love to see them. And if I like them, I'll repost them as well. So go ahead, shoot some awesome overhead shots and don't forget to tag me. Anyway, that's been it. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.